Welcome to Lenten Jazz Vespers of St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Cyberstyle. We are now midway through our journey through Lent, on our way to Easter. Along this journey and in preparation for Easter, we look inward to examine our lives, repenting and turning from that which pulls us away from God. And we look outward, assessing whether we are following the way of Jesus. It is a time to acknowledge our mortality and the one who is the source of our being. Over these 40 days of Lent, Jazz Vespers is taking the form of evening prayer, allowing for reflection and self-examination amidst beautiful music by the musicians of our awesome jazz band. Reggie Padilla, band director and tenor saxophone player, Dan Del Negro on keys, Abby Flores on bass, and Star Kalahiki on vocals. Let's listen to one of those musical selections.
Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us pray. O oh Lord God Almighty, as you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noonday one day, and have made the sun to know what's going down, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness we may know you to be the true God and eternal light, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, kindle within us the fire of love, that by its cleansing flame we may be purged of all our sins and made worthy to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O God, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, 
O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Psalm from the fourth Sunday in Lent is Psalm 107, verses 1 through 3 and 17 through 22. The lectionary places this psalm in response to God's saving mercy for the Israelite people while in the wilderness. The people had become impatient with God and were complaining mightily. God sent poisonous serpents to quiet them, and those who were bit died. The people realized they had sinned by speaking against God. They repented and asked Moses to pray to God for relief, and God relented. God told Moses to make a serpent of bronze and to place it upon a pole. Anyone who was bit was to look at that serpent of bronze, and they would live. Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food and drew near to death's door. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. 
Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. As the serpent placed upon a pole became a source of new life for the Israelite people in the wilderness, so Jesus' death on the cross became the source of new life now and into eternity. The Nunc Dimittis from the Gospel of Luke. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. you to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Lenten Jazz Vespers. And as always, we are most grateful to our talented musicians, Reggie Padilla, band director and tenor saxophone player, Dan Del Negro on keys, Abby Flores on bass, and Star Kalahiki on vocals. Stay safe, stay well, get your vaccine when you can, and come and join us again next week for Lenten Jazz Vespers, Cyberstyle.